today and we are um, joined by Arzen, Argentina Sabados, uh, Director of IOM's Regional Office for Southeastern Europe, Eastern Europe and Central Asia. I might add that her office is also a liaison office to the United Nations agencies and other international organizations based in Vienna. Tina, welcome and thank you for joining us today. Uh, you were here to make an important intervention at the United Nations General Assembly session, the 73rd session, uh, on the UN Common Paper to Combat HIV, uh, TB and vi Viral Hepatitis. Can you tell us uh, a little bit uh, what did you say to your distinguished audience and your co-panelists at that event? <laughs> many thanks um, uh, for this and many thanks Rama for interviewing me uh, today. Uh, it is a great honor and a privilege for uh, IOM to organize a side event together with uh, WHO and the uh, uh, Slovak Republic. It is unique as such. Uh, after two years of being in the UN to have uh, such a prominent um, uh, side event uh, organized together. The uh, event itself has been uh, very well attended and very successful. Uh, I uh, was speaking about the uh, Common Position Paper, which is a paper which has been born by the uh, regional UNDGs that uh, uh, I am part of. Uh, and also the uh, paper has been signed by all the UN organizations, including IOM. Uh, it is uh, a paper that um, initiates and uh, um, uh, make certain that intra-agency uh, cooperation is strengthened and also cooperation with all the players are strengthened in order to um, uh, minimize or to uh, eradicate uh, TB, HIV as well as um, uh, hepatitis. As such, uh, it has been uh, an eye-opener uh, for all of us. Uh, the uh, uh, member states who were around the table were sharing their experiences, were sharing their best practices, and also were sharing their um, uh, positive um, uh, examples on how they um, uh, do their best to um, uh, fight these diseases. Uh, what I did uh, here also is that uh, they were uh, giving their political uh, support. Uh, they have a good political will as well as um, uh, the uh, implementation that uh, they are going to be uh, taking from now on guided through the paper and through the uh, agencies uh, there. Now the paper <laughs> includes uh, migration uh, and includes migrants and this is very important because it's not that we eradicate um, uh, these diseases. You really need to put the most vulnerable uh, on top. The most vulnerable are the poor, the marginalized, and those include also uh, the migrants. And the migrants are specified um, uh, there in, uh, in the paper. So here is our role uh, to, um, to be involved in, uh, in this event. So looking at TB for a moment, what is IOM role and what sort of program do we run on the ground in the field? In the TB, we do run um, um, a, a complex program from um, identifying the uh, disease to uh, uh, giving treatment to making referrals. Uh, and that is very important that we have um, a continuous care. So it's not only that we identify and then we leave the patient alone or the migrant alone, but we are able to refer the, uh, the migrant, even if the migrant leaves to another country, from a transit to a destination country throughout the road. Uh, uh, we do have a complex uh, network of uh, TB diagnosis centers uh, all around the world and uh, it works superbly well and it's very, very useful for both the migrants as well as the countries of uh, destinations, those countries who would receive them. That's good. Um, so it seems that HIV doesn't seem uh, to be as big a danger as it was in the 90s. Uh, is that the case? Is that true? It is. Globally, it is the case that uh, HIV is uh, reducing. However, in uh, our region, in Eastern Europe and in Central Asia, is unfortunately increasing. It's the only region where it's increasing. It has been new HIV cases, 75% increase since 2006. So it's something that really in our region we have to be uh, looking at in order to address it. That's, uh, that's very unfortunate. It's, um, it's starkly a depressing picture. Is there anything to be optimistic about? Well, what I was saying during the um, uh, side event is that uh, diseases do not have passports, they do not need identity cards or work permits, but they travel freely and are there where they, they want to. 
um, and unless we put borders uh, to um, uh, this disease not to spread further, then we won't be uh, successful. Uh, migrants um, uh, are not the only ones who are spreading the disease, uh, obviously. However, they are uh, part of the vulnerable groups who may have the disease and may be marginalized, uh, may be um, uh, also uh, not seen in a, in a good uh, faith. Uh, and as such, they may not come public about, uh, about their diseases. So uh, there is a risk there for them in particular to be stigmatized. And unless we, um, uh, we make every effort to make certain that uh, this uh, particular vulnerable group of people are uh, taken care of and, and we focus on, on their needs and their needs primarily, uh, we will be losing there. There is no one size fits all. In all the countries, um, uh, the approach is different. And also, uh, we, it's not only numbers, uh, it's human beings. So all the human beings that we have to in reacting in a different way to um, uh, the news whenever uh, they get uh, bad news about their uh, health condition. It is indeed true. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tina, for joining us from New York. Thank you so much. My privilege. Thank you.